Hey everybody, I was just about to do some work on some of these grafted citrus that we have here. Uh, a lot of these with tons of very uh, interesting and rare cold hardy citrus varieties. And I wanted to show you guys some interesting things uh, that we've kind of been finding as we grow out different seedlings for the year. And some things that we already had but we've kind of advanced now. And we do plan on trialing some of our own kind of unique to us cold hardy citrus varieties. Uh, and just before we get into that, something cool that I found just yesterday. I don't know if that's focusing. There we go. A variegated rang per lime seedling. So when we're growing out this many seedlings, it's just inevitable that sometimes you encounter these interesting variations. And I did see the striping in the stem too closer up, but I don't think it'll focus that close. But you could see in those leaves those pretty colors coming out. We'll see how stable this is, but it'd be really cool if we uh, had our uh, variegated rang per lime variety. We would definitely propagate that one in the future. But just wanted to show you down here. First thing we see down here, this was a seedling from Stan McKenzie. And it was supposed to be a 10 degree, um, no, I'm sorry, this was supposed to be a Sacaton citromello. And instead we started seeing these yuzu-like leaves. And you can see a lot of it's unifolia and it looks very different from the Sacaton. I don't know if we have one grafted out here that I could show you. This one. That's what Sacaton grafted out looks like. So, remember that leaf. And now look at this seedling, unbelievably different, and I'm almost certain that this is a Sacaton and 10 degree tangerine, so a Yuzu Clementine hybrid. Uh, I imagine those two crossed and created this hybrid. I mean, for one, you can kind of tell just by how it looks. It looks intermediate between the two, but interestingly, this one here, this is a 10 degree tangerine seedling get that to focus better there and you can see it's kind of doing the same thing it's showing some trifoliate leaves some unifoliate leaves that have more of that like yuzu look to them and what that tells me is that sacaton citromello and 10 degree tangerine must uh, flower around a similar time and they did uh, cross pollinate at least last year so some of the fruit we got from Stan McKenzie seem to be hybrids here. So that's really cool to see. I think we have another here. Yeah, this was a 10 degree tangerine seedling. And that looks nothing like a 10 degree tangerine. That one's more unifoliate than some of the others. And now you might be wondering, wait, these are seedlings. So why am I seeing these grafted on trifoliate orange rootstock? And that's because something I've been doing to preserve and trial some of these rare varieties is I've been taking sections of these seedlings here and grafting them onto the mature rootstock. So you can see this one's actually a very cool find of ours, a unifoliate swingle citromello. So this variation of swingle, it's kind of hard to see, it's only just budding out, as unifoliate leaves. It's not trifoliate like swingle normally is. So that's another really cool one. We have a unifoliate US 852, that one's starting to bulge out. I mean, a lot of these graphs have actually been really successful. I've just been kind of doing a uh, variations of bark graphs with the seedlings because they're so small, you have to graph them a particular way. But a lot of success, and I do still have the original seedlings, but these copies should grow a lot quicker because they're on a larger, more established root system. So that's gonna be our strategy. We're gonna grow these fast, and try and get them to reach maturity at least a couple years sooner than they otherwise would have. So we have a nice advantage here. We're also picking out stuff like this unifoliate sacaton there. We're getting some other interesting variations amongst all the seeds that we have too, so we're just kind of grafting them as we go. I also have stuff like dimicelli here. That's some sort of, I think it's a, what is it, like a citrange, a temple orange, um, maybe a clementine in there. It, it's a complex hardy hybrid. It's supposed to be good down to five degrees or so. We got this one from Virginia Fruit Grower as a little seedling and I grew out the seedling and then grafted out pieces of it so now I have two clones of it and this was uh, the healthier of the two seedlings that I had. The other one died off so 
hopefully that's a good sign for its survival. But you can see, this is just kind of how we will be preserving and growing out some of these varieties so that we can have a lot of success in trialing them and hopefully having some really cool varieties to share with you guys uh, in the future and as part of our business here. You can see we did a couple other graphs. This is X639. We did these graphs just a couple weeks ago, got these from the CCPP, and um, they're doing really great. We have a bunch of other stuff doing really good here. This is all new growth. That's a Thomasville graph that I did, I think, back in December or January, and it's flowering already, but I, I will be picking off those fruits because I want these to grow a little bit more. That Thomasville's growing more. But lots of cool stuff here. These are the ones that aren't ready to go out yet, but will be soon. I just kind of let them harden off, and then I spray them with that Callan clay, and then they're pretty much good to go. But I will update in the future on these unique seedling varieties, because this is really cool stuff here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, it would be really cool if some of you guys are growing out some of your own unique seedlings, be it zygotic seedlings or your own crosses. I have a feeling that in the next 5 to 10 years there will be a lot more interesting hardy hybrids, especially as more people seem to take interest in this as the citrus belt moves further north. So thank you guys for watching as always, and stay tuned for future cold hardy citrus updates. Bye-bye for now.